Okay, uh, yeah, sorry for having to start up here. That's the game going full screen. That, that's that's borderless, ga uh, borderless gaming's thing. Uh, I just cannot figure out how to, well, undo that with Minecraft, since it's now set to do it automatically. And yeah, I misread earlier. I thought it was update this thing, but no, it's removed this thing on the server. So, yeah. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... He is a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. <clears throat> and yeah, well, welcome to Minecraft loading back in, where, well, once it's done, we'll jump back onto the uh, Hippity Hopperty SMP and continue work on my lots for the uh, server fair. Though I get the feeling it'll probably be pushed back by a month, seeing as, well, most of the other people haven't really done too much with it. It's, I think it was set for the 14th or 17th of this month. <clears throat> we'll see. Either way, for now, we just gotta wait for this to well, load in. There we go. There and there. Oh, yes. dear. Okay, I forget. I forgot to turn off the external speakers. Hopefully the other ones <laughs> remember us, but at the same time, I will not be surprised if the others have been way too busy in real life to do it, any of it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. I don't think I saw Sensei put anything up on the sir on the Discord server about needing to remove that Kiwi library, but oh well. <clears throat> Could be you just forgot. Hopefully he's not in the middle of working on things, because then it'll make it a really short stream. And Those I just realized I forgot to change the name of the stream. <laughs> so give me a second on this. Why am, I not, why am I not surprised? Because I have, because I only got here five minutes before, because I only got back home five minutes before the free stream started. Uh, yeah, that's yep. Minecraft. Probably should have pushed things back a bit, but too late now. Okay. Uh, yeah, one thing that has definitely changed since last time is that I basically aped Chaskor with these notice boards, since you can put a lot more text onto these things. And yeah, I set up, <laughs> I summoned and set up on each of the uh, demonic wife and husband, of which is very clear which of the two more attention was uh, spent on with development. I set up a little stall here for the enchanter's gear. The normal stuff like sword, shield, bow, crossbow, mirror, wand, and also this thing, which I hadn't really paid much attention to, the enchanter's eye. Basically what this does, it allows you to cast spells through any of these uh, sky uh, crystals that it's linked to. Or if you have one of these in your offhand, whichever that one is li linked to, like that one. Okay. I may as well just give a quick showcase. That's kind of nifty. Okay. At the moment it's just implied, inscribed with a firework spell. So yeah, that just set up that off. Then I put this one in my offhand, and it goes off from that one instead. Ah. Okay, let's put these back. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely too sure what you could do with those. You could, you know, maybe you could use this as some sort of control center, uh, and through that look into like an animal pen to cast spells on them to make them breed or something. I'm not even sure if that's that? something you can do with spells, but you can teleport through them, I believe. Yeah, I can see them use them as a trap against other players or mobs as well. Yeah. Or for, well, festive reasons. <laughs> Could well, be, yeah. Probably also some pranks. Uh, also, uh, <clears throat> Sensei has replaced my occultism storage with the one from refined, uh, refined Storage, which, well, to my knowledge, has sped things up quite a bit. Let me just summon the Wixie for a second. And, okay, they're still being, they're still being laggy now. I'm the only one on the server, so what? Uh, could be because, well, they... well, there's a lot happening here. 
Yeah, Let's but go they, to they tower. all quicker than last time. So some improvements, I would say, has happened. Oh, hold on a second. I'm pretty sure I removed these from the ceiling. So has there been a rollback? Okay. Well, uh, yeah, there, there's been a rollback, it seems, because I had, I had removed that thing. And also the five. Okay, what the hell? Let me check on the server. There hasn't been any th new posts. Uh, let's get the server roll back. Mm -hmm. Let me check if I got the name right. Yeah. Okay, what? Okay, first off, why did the server roll back? And two, when did it roll back? Because that means I just one way I can quickly check just how far it's been rolled back as well. Actually, just the fact that the storage is gone is a pretty good tell of what it really. So that would mean that a lot of work I put in below the lot here, because we are allowed to build both upwards and downwards, will have been just plain ruined. Also, I put these in as an elevator. Let me... Okay. Because I was busy digging down here. Yep. Yep with these ghost weave blocks to make an invisible floor above an arena. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, just... That, that immediately put a damper on my mood, because these ghost weave blocks are not cheap. You need eight blocks of... Uh, you need eight blocks of these, mage bloom blocks, to make eight of them. And for each of those blocks, you need one of the, uh, you need one set of these fibers, which you get from uh, Maid's Bloom. Which I don't really have growing too fast at the moment, so I had to make most of that, well, I had to make pretty much all of it manually through a, <laughs> a frick ton of bone mealing. But yeah, to see a bunch of my work undone without even a warning about it, that, yeah. Uh, It could also be an accidental rollback for... I have heard that uh, sometimes a rollback happen without even the server host warning. Yeah, that, that should typically... Hmm. I'm guessing that would more be from the... where you host the server causing that somehow, but... Hmm. Yeah, I, I was planning on doing... You know, on adding in more stuff. It's... Okay, it didn't delete all of this stuff, but it still deleted some of it, from the looks of it. Uh, yeah, I, I was planning on setting up a bunch of occultism stuff down here, as well as down in the arena. Because, well, there's the whole thing with summonable ifrits that you can fight. But, yeah, just seeing my work undone again. Yeah. Doesn't really have me in the mood to build stuff, especially since there's another risk that it'll just get reverted again. Ugh. Maybe that's why the other side of the e probably one of many other possibilities the other side have been doing much of their own is due to the survey issues. I, d I doubt it. Because then they would have been talking about it and such. Uh, but no. Down. At the very least, my critters are still here. Yeah, yeah. I, I found out that you, <clears throat> uh, creatures in these containment jars, they can still be harvested by a Drigme as if they were just standing around. It's just that they take up less uh, processing power or whatever. Because basically when they're in these things, their AI is turned off. Oh, they replied. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. I don't know why. Okay, so even Tatum doesn't know why. 
So yeah, yeah we we'll have to ask. We'll have to wait for Sensei or Shaskor to show up and explain then. Yeah, for is either either them or the host did something that made uh, have it uh, do a rollback. And this is just info I have learned from uh, well watching other YouTubers play. Uh, other games where that can happen, very much. Lord, hey, hey, hey. I think, yeah, I think most of the time I actually learned, heard it more and more about was from players doing uh, 100 day challenges. And I just did announce that they had a rollback whenever that, that happened. Should, shouldn't those be happening on not so. Uh... <clears throat> on single-player worlds, so there shouldn't be anything with rollbacks. Yeah, so yeah. If the multiplayer, it could be, but there has been sometimes, but all times, it has happened to single-player map as well. Hmm. Can't say I've, I've ever had that happen. What is making noise behind me? My fan is on because it is a bit warm again, so it must it's probably pushing something around behind me. Uh, I guess I can at the very least explain of what I have planned. Let's dispel them for a second. Uh, basically, yeah, these ghost weave blocks, if I cast in invisibility on them, they will turn invisible. Or I could just click on them with some block, which will make them turn into the same thing. But that's not really what I want this to be, a sort of glass floor. And yeah, down here... I would put down, I plan to put down one of those open summons. Uh, let me quickly grab the book. Oh. Uh, so a message that I'm going to read from the mm. uh, from Tatum. Sensei doesn't know what either, sorry for inconvenience. Okay. Okay, so, it's, okay, so the server host is responsible. Yeah, again, happens. For so again, it's not just. 100 day chance, but I've seen mm. people just doing multiplayer things, having to say they do things as well. Okay, that explains a bit more, but still freaking annoying. Also, yes, I have another scribe yeah. crystal, crystal over there for people wanting to look in. But yeah, a uh, book. Uh, where is it? Did I lose it's my occultism or... book? Is me or... the game is similarly a bit choppy whenever you go into the menu? Yeah, that's because it's trying to do or what menu exactly? Because there's many yeah, menus. But whenever you hover the arrow over an item, it uh, flickers a lot. It's... Uh. Okay, that is odd. It's not yeah, doing that, that on my end. Yeah, but you see, hmm. you see, it does. It, it doesn't look as smooth as it usually does. When okay, moving from item to item. Hmm. And it's only when you're in the menu, when you're walking around, it looks fine. Here as well. Uh, okay. Yeah, the book was fine. Just, yeah. Okay, that's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm guessing it's something with the where the the actual server is being hosted from Tatum. They probably fucked up with something. Yeah, the the, uh. the, the, the server provider, the one they paid yeah. to host the server on the, wherever that server is hosted on. I think uh. they are called server providers. So yeah, yeah I think. Yeah, I'm not, not... not saying you are the guilty ones. You're saying. Oh, okay then. It could just be the computer right, may have a hiccup. Yeah, I don't have. I I thought it was being run through a server, uh, through some sort of uh, service or something. Uh, but yeah, sounds yeah, like it. sounds like his PC just freaked up with something or something. Uh, yeah. Just speculation, but if it's just the PC that he hiccup, uh, it happens all the time. 
but yeah, anyway, I was planning to put down one of these Abrasus Open Conjures down here in the arena, so that people could fight in Ifrits if they wanted to. I was, I'm also, I was also thinking about putting up a, uh... ooh, pardon. I was also thinking of putting up one of the rituals of, of, of summoning. Uh, let me find it quickly. Rituals. Uh, summon Walden. And yeah, basically have things ready for the Walden Chimera to be summoned as a boss as well. Though, oh, well, dear. the Walden Chimera is quite a bit stronger than the Ifrits. Then again, I, I do have an, a fire immunity ring. So that probably explained a bit of why that thing was so easy. <clears throat> oh dear, heck. But yeah, my, my guess is then that for some reason the server didn't save or something after I was done last time. It's a possibility. Again, no one's fault. No one's fault. I think we can all agree technology is Roddy. Not 100% trustworthy at times. Yeah, I can't say I'm in the mood. I can't say I'm in the mood to go fix what well has been screwed up now. So, well, I guess that's just a really short stream then. That or we try to find something else. Uh, maybe try start a single player world or something. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see, let's test world, let's create a new one. Yeah, uh, not your fault, Tatum. Tatum. Just something somewhere screwed up without anyone noticing. <clears throat> it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Yeah. It could have it could have deleted the whole damn thing. That or just corrupted it. At least it was you are uh, only a robot. And as far as I know, the robots can sometimes be severe when they do happen unintentionally. Uh, so, I guess we should be happy if it was just a mild one. Like, yeah. imagine, imagine if you roll back, like, uh, what should be next, like a few weeks back? Like, uh, or for example, when you were half, half done with your tower? Yeah, I think at that point, basically everyone would have stopped playing if they had lost that much progress. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can probably do an hour or two of single player, see if we can find anything interesting. And, yeah, maybe just call it after an hour or two or something. Or, yeah. Yeah, like, we will see. One, th one thing that I absolutely hate that my you know, parents say with games is that you can always start over. You can always start over. I don't want to fucking start over because that would mean losing all of the progress and in time investment that I put into something. I'm not going to delete my Warframe account uh, after f almost 5,000 hours into that. Uh. Yeah. That would be like I'm... quitting your job after 10, 20 years somewhere just to go do you know, start anew or something. That would be complete lunacy. Yeah. So, th th yeah, I probably sounded angrier there than I meant to, but still. Yeah, I understand you. Some games I'm fine with restarting over, but other games I will definitely not don't want to restart over from the beginning, like an MMO or something. Yeah. And uh, it's taking its time with loading. Yep. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's pick something other than Avian for once. Uh, Arachnids. Elfic, unarmed bonus, unique movement, carnivore minus defense, anthropomorphic felines with sharp claws and excellent agility. Their roads often lead to warm sands. Razor sharp retractable claws, poor grip, and reduce damage with handled weapons like swords and axes. Uh, uncomfortable with heavy armors, heavy armors preferring lighter fare for ease of movement, can still be worn with an enchantment. If you ever fall from a height where you would take five hearts or more or damage, they instead take no damage at all. Wait, so does that mean that if you fall a shorter distance that you... <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a thing with actual cats. 
if they fall from uh, below a certain height, they would actually get end up getting hurt more than if they fell from a higher height, because they don't have time to correct themselves and prepare for the landing. Yeah, I have heard okay. of that. Mm -hmm. Near sunset and sunrise, when Elphic naturally hunt, they will move and attack much more quickly. At other times, they are lethargic and slightly slower. <laughs> right? Click the back of a villager while crouching with empty paws for a chance to steal some emeralds. Or get caught. Rumor has it you may be able to steal from other players. After crouching without moving for a few seconds to charge up, an Elphic can leap forward a great distance. Striking an enemy during this pounce deals bonus damage. Can only eat meats, not vegetables. Footsteps don't cause any vibrations, which would otherwise be picked up by nearby life forms, aka wardens and such. Uh, read the next and one. Creepers here. Are, yeah, <laughs> creepers are scared of you. <laughs> then the meow. <laughs> yeah, that's the active ability, just meowing. Okay. I'm tempted to pick this one. <laughs> yeah, I was tempted. Only problem is the own carnivore only. The, the yeah, uh, it, it can be a problem, a problem if you are not careful. Yeah, basically it would mean that we'd need to get uh, an animal farm going ASAP. Uh, Elytrian, uh, uncomfortable when they don't have enough space above their heads. You have elytra wings without needing to equip any. Give to the wings every 30 seconds you are ab able to launch about 20 blocks up into the air. Substantial more damage while in elytra flight. Can't wear any heavy armor. Okay, not. It doesn't say if any heavier stuff can be worn with an in, with enchantment or not. Uh, being somewhere with a low ceiling for too long will weaken you and make you slower, and take more you know, damage from falling and flying into blocks. Uh, big mm -hmm. no. Access to additional nine slots of inventory, which keep you know, the items on death. Even without wearing armor, your you know, skin is natural protection. Strong enough to break natural blocks without using a pickaxe. Uh, okay, no no using shields. Then again, I've never really used those much. Exhaust much quicker than others, thus requiring you to eat more. Goblin. Gold, luck, small, but less health and defense. Mm-hmm. You gain extra bonuses when wearing or using golden gear. It lasts much longer than most others. Mm -hmm. Okay, where to find more rare loot most others would miss. I'm guessing that just means more loot from, well, looter boxes and such. Basically loot mm. goblin. Yeah, basically this would, this would be the, <laughs> the species for Liz. Snow creeper. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were not kidding. It's actually called affection at the headbutt. Yep. I thought they were joking. Immune to freezing. Slightly seen in the dark when not in water. Uh, retain explosive as a survival mechanism. Upon death, you will instead explode, devastating any assailant that stands too close while you survive. Though that has a five minute cooldown. Uh. Okay, unable to regenerate health from food while in sunlight. Eline, hmm. scale creepers away. Never take fall damage, no matter how which height. Okay, able to jump higher while jumping while sprinting. Do not cause vibrations. Let one less heart of health than humans, aka nine hearts. Uh, we're not under the effect of a po strength potion. You can only mine natural stone if there are at most two other natural blocks adjacent to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is very, very weakening, to put it simply. Yeah. Pixie. Unique flight. Odds. Can fly and propel themselves forwards and the upwards. Okay. Bite size. Some of the smallest creatures to roam the land, rarely even reaching the average human's knees. Uh, possible for them to take fall damage. Sit on... Really? <laughs> you can sit on top of another player's head by right-clicking them with empty hands. Uh, Wait. Good luck. Something does that valuable. mean... Wait, does that mean Tatum can use anyone as a mount? Maybe. Are we saying a steed instead for... I feel like that makes me take it out, out of context. 
Uh, so what were you to say there, Captain? <laughs> if this is the specific one there, yeah, yeah Faye, not Pixie. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. Pardon. I'm um, usually people put Pixie within the same family as Faye. Incubus, Nether bonuses, strength plus, and fireball. Damage by water and weaken the overworlds. Um. Okay, carnivore only, hydrophobe, high elf, mat plus magic and unique abilities, but minus physical damage and defenses. Powerful well, cutting and all... mm -hmm. mm. so If you all go in mage build, then this would work rather well. No armor heavier than iron. Can be prevented with an enchantment. Taller. By holding different items, high elves can channel the objects and release various magics. Okay. Uh, glacial step, extrusive. Okay. Mm -hmm. More mana. Siren, water based, utility, weaker on land, vulnerable to fire. <laughs> Siren is said to be the, a type of merfolk. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Known for their luring calls, press the primary, primary X button to make all mobs around you neutral until hit. Does not work on bosses or players. Can survive in water and swim with increasing increased speeds. Regenerative powers, which are at full force when they are in water. Uh, can just find, a, uh, just find a land. This is not their natural environment. As such, they re their regenerative abilities do not apply and any damage taken can only be healed with potions. Okay. Uh, can regenerate their bodies. They are weak to blunt force. Melee damage do more da uh, attacks. Yeah, melee attacks do more damage to them. Not sure why that is thrown. Maybe that's supposed to mean. Maybe they're supposed to be more after it. Flammable sirens and water uh, fire do not mix. Any contact with flames results in instant death. Be sure to watch your step in the Nether. Okay. Yeah, in a way, it makes sense. For let's be honest. As if you're on the water, so much for a fireball, you should be fine, but on land? And you be through fireball, people throw fireball at you, you dry up. Uh, yeah, if fish needs water to not dry up. So. Uh, doesn't explain why they're vulnerable to flames, though. It, uh, I just explained it for it would dry them up. Mm -hmm. If they're on land, then being thrown the fireballs at. And everything you've seen, uh, grilled fish. Yeah. Uh, living on the ground is led to dwarfs having highly sensitive eyes. They can focus and see clearly in the dark. Okay, that's a toggleable ability. Uh, adapted for the dark. Direct sunlight burns their sensitive retinas, blinding them until darkness returns. Prevented by wearing a gold helmet or with an enchantment. Okay. Extremely heavy. Despite their best efforts, they sink rapidly in water. And Notorious Brewers. Yeti. Heat sensitive. The uh, powerful magic runs through the veins of the Yeti, allowing them to entomb a group of foes in ice on command. Does not work in the nether or on bosses. From whence you came, thriving best in the lands uh, from which they originate. The Yetis move faster and are carried on the slow uh, snow to negate fall damage in ice biomes. Mm -hmm. For more health, immune to slowness. Taller, significantly wider, flammable. Mm -hmm. A lot of hair. Slowed and health reduced in the desert. Okay, and here's the Fey. Offering a magic. Loved by mobs and minus defense. Uh, light winged creatures who can float effortlessly in the air. Uh, Fey take less magical damage. Can sell their attempt to heal themselves quickly. Natural learn. Not Unfortunately, that means mobs. that mobs will pursue them from much further oh. away. But, but love by does that mean whenever mobs see Tatum, they become yes wild fan club? <laughs> A mob magnet. Yeah, that's definitely one word for it. Uh, and I was stuck with them. A lot of mobs charging Tatum, begging for an autograph. And apparently Inky is complaining out in the hallway for something, even though the door is open. Elf and ogre, all right. 
Mm. Banshee. Extreme changes read first. Okay. Intangible, moving freely through the physical realm without being able to interact with it. This uses tremendous energy and cannot be uh, can't be activated while low on hunger. Uh, mm -hmm. Another an attack, they can unleash an ear splitting whale at a target. Will be pushed back and a small protective circle will be summoned. Restore no hunger from food. The energy is instead restored by being bathed in direct moonlight. However, they cannot starve. Okay. Magically suppressive metals such as iron or silver are completely intolerable to banshees. Uh, shredded and curses. Makes Every sense. time they are hit, there is a small chance that the attacker will be consigned to a fate of a slow and agonizing death. Hmm. That could actually be interesting. But probably not for us at the moment. Really? A Gorgon? Mm. Hydrophobe and unique weaknesses. Uh, da, da, da. Turning into stone briefly does not work on bosses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Massive, you massively increase damage at low health. Cannot tolerate the purity of water, take damage from it. That's uh, you. Da, 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 da. Oh, being outside in daylight causes them to become petrified until night. Can be negated by well, what? wearing a helmet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's also kind of this. Okay. Yeah, yeah I feel like some things have been. I feel like some things have been added there for balance reasons. Yeah. Uh, Revenants. And, and yeah, now those... Ink is dancing around my legs. So I... there. I gotta guess those dots by the na uh, species name there are supposed to tell the difficulty. Yeah, difficulty. Mm. Can summon like a undead. Yeah, that seems many of these uh, high up seems to have very good schemes, but also many like as like you can say, they have very exaggerated pros and cons. Yeah, it's. Mm hmm. Expect all creatures for better or worse, except some undead. Immune to wither and like undead, take extra damage from smite, receive inverted effects from harming and healing effects, and are immune to poison and regeneration effects. And now she's up on the desk. Villages will refuse to trade with revenants, and iron golems will attack them on sight. They are accepted among the ranks of the pillagers. Black Thumb cannot harvest any crops. They wilt at their deadly, uh, deathly touch. What do you want, Furbos? He's, he's headbutting my arms. Uh, cannot sleep. Too scared to dream of what they wish they did not know. Mm -hmm. Okay. D receive more damage. Plague Victim. Withering. Unique playstyle. What? And dead. Okay, I'm, I'm putting you away, Furball, before you start... Knocking stuff off. Okay. Uh, slowly consumes the life of any ne living nearby. Mm -hmm -hmm. Immune to poison and wither. Okay. Everything they hit has a chance to itself become infected. Villages refuse to trade. Sleep is impossible. Mm -hmm. More damage. Cannot or no. Cannot wear. Armor. Okay. Hmm. Also reduced. Hmm. Reduced health and speed. So this is your. Basically, you leech life from anything nearby, but you are well slowed down and everything. You can't wear armor. That doesn't sound worth it. Uh. Let's just let me double check. Yeah, I could see Wood Elf, Alfig, and maybe High Elf. I did not see what the Moon Elf did, but Alfig could be something. Let's see. Moon Elf, there. Uh, dagger damage, Dexterous, Stealthy, doesn't sleep. Uh, light and easy to cube. Okay, deal more damage with daggers and knives. Don't think those are actually in the mod pack, though. Or oh. I'm not. I'm not sure. That's Vanna's uh, area, so I never touched. Uh, I never went towards that. Moon elves can turn invisible by sneaking and move a short distance while stealth. With a tank from stealth, okay. 
Seen an even slightly translucent. Uh, cannot sleep in the overworld. Can't wear armor. Okay, that's enough for me to say we're going cap. And we have this again. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's just go warrior to deal more damage with things. Okay. No, do you and look like a cat now? Chickens? No, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't affect your appearance. All right, okay. the appearance is account wide. Yeah, the oh. Appearance is you can set your skin, and that's what will show on the yeah servers and such. So yeah, still, still Falco. Okay, let's get ourselves some early. Food. Yeah, and I, I guess if you make uh, them look like a cat here, they end up looking like a cat on the other surface as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay, three chickens. Now just need a spot to store them. Get in there. No, I do have to ask. Do you like chicken? Yep. And uh, I mean, in context within food. Yes. Oh, that's good. Okay. The cats and the bats. Yep. Yeah, the, the bees weren't added yet. Okay. Wait, that's why they said it like... I thought they just tried to make their own weird parody of something. Nope. Okay. Let's grab ourselves some woods, make some tools. Uh, Captain? What? You, you, you shopping wood with seed. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, this is one of those fruit trees, but, well, <laughs> since we're carnivore, since we're, the, since we are a carnivore, it has no use for us. Well, it may have some use, but not for yourself, but more for feeding something else, and, okay. The shopness only appears when you bring up the, that menu. Here it's fine. It might be a mod or something. It also, okay, I can't just climb anywhere that I want. I must have missed that bit earlier. Okay. Pickaxe. Well, the, as long as only a, the, if it only appears on Discord, it's kind of weird on itself. Uh, it seems to... I can see it happening on... Uh, <clears throat> I can see it happening on OBS as well. It's weird why it's not showing up on here. Let me... There's something I can try. Now let's move over to the game capture scene. Does it happen here as well? I just need to change one of these to capture discords. Uh, not discord, Minecraft. But there and there. Okay. Okay, yeah, no it doesn't have that here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so like, it's not a game, just... Yeah, it was OBS being weird. And... Uh, tin war. Does it move every time they say weird for... Why only react to the menu and not the rest of the game? It's probably some. You know, the answer to that is probably something very technical that neither of us wants to really bother with. <laughs> yeah, for this thing, normally you see something shoppy, everything shoppy, not just that specific thing. Why do you have. Uh, steam powered what? It did. Hmm? 
Uh, create steam and rails. Do you that? Do you mean that? That's that's part of the pack. Pretty sure that the game hasn't been. Com the server hasn't been complaining at me for having that. Let's see. You're not supposed to have steam powered mod in the mod. Uh, when? Huh. Okay. That's weird. The, the server doesn't complain about it, so... Uh, really? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to look at that, then and remove it. Hmm. Okay. Um... Yeah, I have no I have no need for seeds outside of uh, well breeding chickens. Okay, that'll make for a good starter <laughs> starter place. Uh, did you get out of the hole or no? Come here, you. Oh, oh. Tatum has written something more. Uh, doesn't complain about a lot of mods that weren't supposed to be in the mod pack. Okay. Uh, there. Okay, those are about to be able to breed again. Okay, a lot of villages... I think they all came from over there. Okay. A bunch of books. A bunch of Ars Nouveau stuff. Uh, there. These will be useful for myself. Oop. These will also be useful, even more so with the charcoal in them. What? Why four of them? Impo okay. Because then you can smelt multiple things at once and have it go faster. Yeah, but it still looks like a weird design for a tower. Okay, let's put all of these in there for the moment. Let's try your scroll. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> that saves me a bunch of work. Okay. Then I, got, I think you can find one of these always in these uh, magic towers. Uh, let's just put other stuff away. Okay, that's full. Okay. Uh, yeah, last but not least. Yoink. Such a pirate. Okay. Is there anything that's not nailed down until they remove the nails? Then stay the nails. Okay, let's go check over here. Yeah, what kind of building is that? May as well immediately make some spells with this. Break. Create. You know, break, mm. create. Okay. Okay. That's supposed to be a tent. If you remember correctly, these yeah, these can, can be broken down into wheat, with which we can uh, lure over cows and such. And it it's a beer hall. What of a beer tent. It, it, uh, okay. Someone had a bit too much uh, to drink. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we can lure bison with wheat or such, and honestly, I probably wouldn't, since well, they tend to get a bit, a bit grumpy with each other. Yeah, that, you, you might. If it is more than you you only would tame the young ones, just not the adults. Obvious reasons. Dark cherry. Okay. Surprise, fools! Yep. What the? <laughs> Hello, pizza. Uh, how are you doing today? <laughs> Thank you, the raid. Uh, let me give you a shout out. Uh, oh, dear. Uh... Hello, pizza. Uh, wait, it doesn't work with this. Uh, and oh, now it's. 
Okay, now it's blocking. <laughs> now it's just blocking sight of my chat here. Uh, okay, let's do it through this then. Miscellaneous. Uh, copy name. Slash. Or not slash. Exclamation. So paste. Let's see. What were you up to? At the turn, you bring my random master player along. Let's see. How many times have I told you to try some coconut milk with a bacon, <laughs> cheeseburger, and fries? I'm pretty sure this is the first time. And you were playing Elden Ring. Okay. Uh, da -da -da, doing great. Technically, first tried a hard boss and did a six-hour stream because I was energetic. <laughs> okay, that's good to hear. Uh, yeah, we were planning on streaming the... Uh, we're, we were planning on streaming on the uh, Hippity Hoppity SMP server. But something has gone wrong, which has rolled it back a bunch. So, yeah, it undid a bunch of work that I'd done. So I'll get back to that some other time. Because, well, having my work undone, it kind of <laughs> ruins the mood to go do it again on stream. Uh, uh, I, can, I can just slap this thing down and just go to bed. No need for high places now. <clears throat> okay, grab it again. And yeah, I'm playing now. I'm I'm bleh. I'm just playing a single player world now with the same mod pack, which apparently has some mods that aren't supposed to be there still. Even though I downloaded this one from the Discord server, so yeah, you might <laughs> since I might need want to look into that and remove. That, or actually, no, no, uh, actually, okay. I remember what I did. I. Uh, I downloaded the uh, quote-unquote new version from the Discord server after the server got bonked and thus had to be rolled back to fix it. And then I took the mods from that mod pack, copied them over into the file for this one, so I had hoped that I would not need to change the controls and such again, which I still had to. So... Yeah, Steam Powered is uh, Tatum. I think Steam Powered is in the mod pack that's to be that you can download then. So since I might need to remove it from there. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, I just go soon into the machine and yeah, my headphone just told me now that I need to put in the charging cable. There. And yeah, let's see. No one needs food. Just gonna eat because I forgot to eat lunch because of stream. Okay. And yeah, basically, I'm, I'm, I've, one of the mods in this is the Origins mod. Also, Ink has left, so I can remove this. Uh, yeah, the Origins mod, Origins mod, which well can give you a class and species. And the species that I took is, well, basically cat people. So, yeah, no fruits and vegetables and such, only meats, which is, well, like this. I think it would still be good to double check in there, Tatum, because if it's in here, then it's likely in there. Uh, back. And yeah, this sounds like uh, yeah, this sounds like the modding Minecraft is not easy for always something. Okay, for the moment, I should just drop some stuff off. Make one of these again. And yeah, I'll, I'll just make a little base here, or there, turn it into normal chests. Okay, and just dump everything in there. There, there, there. Okay, keeping the swords, taking some of the charcoal to make torches. And uh, let's furnaces. I should set those up. So there, 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 and there. Wait, your character can eat raw meat. Uh, you can always, you can always uh, eat raw meat and such in uh, <laughs> in Minecraft. It's just not always a good idea to. Yeah. So, I should take these with. So meats you can eat raw, just. Not as appealing. No. Hmm. I think. Here's the thing. You should not eat raw chicken, but I think I heard that it's 
a thing only in some countries. Like, you could, if you want, eat raw chicken. Like, you probably will still get sick, slightly sick maybe and such, but you will not get salmonella. Mm, Just not tasty. It would tasty. need to be specially uh, prepared then, probably. Yeah, but as I was saying, you can't eat it raw, but just it's still better not a good you can think it's still a bad idea, yeah. Just you will not uh, have salmonella. And I think I heard someone tell me I, I'm not sure if this is true. This could be false. So take a bit that grain of salt. I uh, someone told me that salmonella is only a thing in USA and China? Yeah, that sounds like bullshit. Yeah, I, when I heard, I thought, okay, but I always felt, I felt a bit, a bit skeptical. I'll have to dig bigger pits later sometime, but I'm just going to make one for each of the animal types at the moment. Chicken, cow, pig, sheep, because I saw some on yeah. the uh, map. Yeah, on the mini -map. let me say to people, do cook your food. It's it's just better. And if his food has been pre-cooked, like some meatballs you can buy frozen, I uh, repeat, if it package says pre-cooked, it should be able to be eat the, either raw, fine, says so it technically already mm. been cooked. Yeah. But otherwise, otherwise cook it. Mm. Okay. Is it kind of Carrots and wheat. Weird. That's what needed to lure stuff over. If freaking chorus. That, that meme, uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. We evolved from eating raw meat to no longer be able to eat raw meat. Okay, just going to need to grab wonder, this. Was learning to control fire such a great thing, really? Look, fire do kill parasites, so yeah. Uh, and sadly, from what I've been hearing, uh, what the heck is that? Uh, okay, it's just one of those fan fish that's seen from the side. I thought there was some sort of octopus with its hands up. <laughs> uh, what were you to say otherwise? Between being interrupted by a sea animal? Uh, yeah, to my knowledge, uh, yeah, parasites and food have been making a return because people ha or people and companies have been skirting the rules. Of uh, uh, health for... safety. I feel like there's a lot of uh, that thing uh, just skirting around, bypassing a lot from everyone almost. Mm. Yeah, as long as companies aren't fined to a degree that it actually has an impact on their income, then fines just become the cost of uh, doing business. Oh, hello. So personally, on that, I would say, uh, if if, a, if companies are just caught doing stuff like that, just uh, just freaking arrest the the management of it and such. No, uh, bull, no fines that they can just wave away uh, as part of uh, just yearly expenses. Just put people in jail or just just take a. a Take a big chunk of their profits, like 10-15% of yearly profits. That will probably get them to pay attention. Yeah. Also, but it, it, I feel like uh, a few years ago, greed started to be more prevalent and it has gotten worse and worse. Yeah. Let's see. So not seeing any has... cows. Or sheep? As you said, greed has always been a problem, but it seems to have gone uh, in waves, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I might need to... Get, <laughs> I might need to kill one of the bisons for some foods, though that might hurt me more than it would heal. So we'll just have to see about that. Okay, here's some sheep. I don't know that's a bison in the water. Oh, here. Four of them. Come on. Okay. The heck is this? Yep. Sunflowers just from the wrong angle. 
Yeah, okay. It just me. Does those sheep look like they have shoes? Yeah, it's just gets the skin compared to the color of the wool. And come back here, you. Oh, that's a woolly one. Yep. One of them is very excited. Come on. Of course, they get to wash the boots. And by boots, Come I mean, I think, like, things. like a bit long socks with tiny shoes. Uh, what Ed was using that. You know those uh, weird shoes they had in 16th centuries? Uh, no. Uh... Uh, I don't moving. know what they call, but I know many royalties uh, loved them back then, since it, it, apparently showing your calves was fashionable. Okay, I'm just going to give up on these. Seems that they're more interested in just bathing than foods. Okay. Hmm. Well, time to get to digging then, see if we can find something interesting. And yeah, see what mod pack we can get started or what mods we can start on early. Botania, create. Also, uh, I'll need some iron for water so we can grow that. Technically, I should, I should just throw out all of these foods since I can't eat them, but I might be able to make something with them that would be edible. Similar to how... Uh, some things aren't aren't signified as being uh, vegetarian or not with other mod packs. So it looks like with this one they have paid attention for lots. Uh, okay, doesn't I think that that apple pie might just be decorative since it didn't have food values and such. Hmm. So let's remove that. Uh, there, there, get some more torches. Hmm, I will not be surprised if you can sell apples for uh, emeralds. Could be, but I'm not going to, re I'm not going to, uh, really? Um... Uh, uh, emeralds for nothing, okay? Captain, what just happened? They're an invasion of <laughs> idiots. I, I just said that many villagers want to buy apples. You turn around and there's a horde of them? The, and then one of them is selling... Literally air? nothing. Did I get yeah, saplings? There, and there. Should grow Wait. some of those of my own. Wait, is there even a village nearby? I, I'm pretty sure they all came from that. From the tent. As well, most of them are brewmasters, I think it said. Yeah, brewmaster, <clears throat> brewmaster, brewmaster, and two fishers. Wait, yeah, brew three fishers. Yeah, they might be interested in the apples since, you know, cider? Maybe, but I doubt I have enough apples to get them interested. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a lot of health. Hmm. Okay, no meat from these. Feathers, uh, no use for that. Um, I don't think there was have much meat to begin with. Okay, hello. This will be easier to explore than trying to dig my own way down. Oh, animal fat. Hmm. Yeah, it's edible at least. Uh, hello. Okay, this kind of looks nice. You just need a little bit of a wooden bridge and... It, they surprisingly look like a very good starting base. Hmm. Yeah, it's at least a little hidey hole. 
Give me that. Uh, but you can, you, can't, uh, you have to agree, it kind of looks rather safe, provided there's enough light source. There, and that is why I added this mod that allows you to see where enemies can spawn and all that. Okay. I would have to move the animals over, but that would be easier than, well, trying to expand too much up there, probably. Yeah, and down here you... Hopefully, free from the villagers. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they managed to show up here as well. Uh, for now... Uh, let me just grab some dirt and seal off that water. Yeah, I kind of like this for some reason. For it looks like those. Oh, I can have a hidden base in here, and it, it looks oddly cozy. Well, I actually saw a video it? recently on uh, hidden base designs and such, and some of them are really freaking complicated, and other really easy ones were well, pretty hard to find all on their own. Yeah, boy, I've seen a few of those whenever I tried to look up videos in the past for a good base location in the Ark. And many of them showed the hidden base locations that I really dislike due to being way too small. And of course the time that even I could lose them. Okay, let's see if we can find ourselves some iron around here. Yeah, oh, gotta put off my headphone temporarily, check on my food. So, I will temporarily be not able to hear you. Okay. More Got water. There. Oh, this, this work connects to the river down there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this will make a good little hidey hole, but maybe not that much of a mining camp. Unless other parts of this connect somewhere. Doesn't look like it. But I do see some iron. Okay. One of these fell away here somewhere. Okay, where did the other one go? Hmm. Okay, there, there was another one that fell somewhere. Water would have taken it down there. Okay. Okay, that combined with the, the with the iron that was in the toolbox, and we can make ourselves <clears throat> a bucket and even some coal here. There. Actually, do we have that mod that allows for... No. No tiny coal bits. It's a very popular one, for, to my knowledge, since it well allows you to make... <clears throat> to be more exact with how much you smelt and all that. Okay. Uh, let me just grab a bit more stone. Okay, that's a bunch of zinc. If I can find andesite, then we can make a uh, andesite alloy for create stuff. Uh, and I just realized that I don't have the wood to make a workbench, crafting station, whatever. Hmm. Let's. I may as well eat a bit of this. So at least we are not on the star on about to starve. <laughs> as disgusting as this sounds. Okay. I need more saplings. There. Okay. There. Really? Just an acorn? Okay. 
I don't know if it's... I sometimes hear people say that waiting for these to uh, decay on their own gives a higher chance of them dropping saplings or such. But I'm not too sure about that. Plus, that's already like three or something from this. Yep. Let's see. Time to put my headphones back on and make sure the captain has been behaving. There. Okay. Yep. I'm back. Welcome back. That's captain behaved. Maybe. What do you do? Uh, no need for that. Uh, put this thing down. Okay, take that. Nope, I actually need a shovel, so I'll take that as well. Iron, coal. Okay. I just learned something about the other spot. Uh, if you are building there, mm -hmm. you only need to build one wall. True. Yep. I will need to extend the ceiling. So that nothing can drop in as well. But it is a it, be it is a good defensible spot. Oh, definitely. Any <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I guess the beside it looking cozy kind of feels like it has a bit of a character, I guess you could say. Like you have a hidden spot, and in front of the hidden spot is a waterfall leading to the mines. Yeah, there isn't much to b dig out there at the moment, but I can just dig down, put some ladders up. Yeah, but it, but you do get what I mean. It, it it has a it does have a charm, but described that way. A flare, perhaps. Also, I should save this carrot for feeding. Or for the... You two want to join the farm <laughs> or something? <laughs> Wait, I see what's going on. Oh, this is... Captain. They're here yes. for free food. Oh, they won't get it. I would chase them out, but they built an iron golem, so they would chase me out instead. Uh, let's see. Four of this. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> Okay, even though I can't eat any of this, I will still have to grow some of it, just for, to have it for feed for the other creatures. Uh, Sugarcane I'll need for books and such. Come here, you. Little crater. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Again. Need to clear out a bit of an area. Okay. There. Okay. Then with a bit of stone and woods. That away. Oh. Okay, decorative blocks. Didn't know that was in here. Okay. One of these. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, plant the last carrots. There we go. Now that'll secure a food supply <clears> through the other animals. Okay, there, there are mods out there that make feeding or make eating more difficult through uh, 
Yeah, having things be have less and less effects if you don't eat a variety of things. But luckily that's not in here. Okay, uh, take, leave that behind for the moment. Actually... There. There we go. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> um, yeah, now to start digging again, I'd say. So, let me grab these. Oh. Okay, ex <laughs> accidentally locked it, it seems, for a bit. So, why the hell are you idiots keep getting in my way? Are you trying to... <laughs> Are you trying to colonize my little outpost or something? Or are they just, just that desperate for trades? Or... Wait... Were there even any bed in the tent? If they were supposed to be spawned by that? For... It almost looked like they all spawned or they were baited almost in a weird way. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they came running from here... ...to the tower for some reason. Yeah, we didn't see them there. The, the only one we saw... We, we found the one inside the tower, but... No one was here earlier. Yeah. yeah, plenty of beds for them. Okay, let me set these up so they'll leave my bed alone. Oh, uh, I can see here what's going on. It might be the, them being placed as bunk beds. Hmm... Okay, just gotta hope that they don't ruin the crops. Wouldn't it be better to put them back in the tent just like this instead? No, because they're too far away from them. There. And just move your own bed. Since they're too dumb to use stairs, there. Okay. Now, let me widen this up a bit. So I can actually kill some of them without, well, killing all of them at once. And, yes, if I broke the upper block first, they probably would have all made a run for it. Actually, check if we can use these seeds to feed them. No, those are horse only feed. Okay. I'll keep these blocks with me just for, well, <clears throat> if I need to build a cross somewhere. Okay. Um. I could use the waterfall to dig there, or I could just get some more water myself, just to make a, a, a water you know, elevator of sorts. Well, you busy have one over there already. Yeah, but might as well just build one here, where, I'm, <laughs> where I've already got my stuff set up. Hmm. <clears throat> I forgot that gravel falls. Okay, there. Oh dear, oh dear. I'll just have to make sure to dig that uh, one down lower than the one I'm currently standing on. Though I can just... 
yeah, repair that by putting a block down so the water doesn't spread out. And yeah, rule number one of Minecraft is don't dig straight down, but well, this isn't exactly straight down. Really? I, <laughs> I dig into an underwater lake all the same. Okay. Sizable place. So, yeah, I'll just have to... I'll just have to tunnel my way through this. Okay. <clears throat> At least it's better than doing... Uh, going yeah, than trying to go through that diagonally. There and there. Okay. Let me actually... I think I saw a whirly sprig on the mini-map. There's a Drigme, and there's a whirly sprig. If I can get one of those early... I could basically use them to set up a tree farm. And use that for source generation. Okay, this way... Okay, good thing I changed course because there's a freaking necromancer over there. Those are annoying at all levels. Um, boy, I thought you picked the warrior's class. Yeah, so I'll deal more damage. Doink. <clears throat> Kidnapping the little tree sprite. <laughs> okay, and this time I'll remember to get the food out of the furnace. <clears throat> There's the drink me. You burn it. No. <laughs> that would be a mean moth to put in <laughs> or to make where you can just where you can end up burning your food into charcoal. <laughs> well, you, you will get charcoal and you use charcoal. There. Oh, there I we use go. Coal, I think. Okay, uh, there's the axe. Put that away for the moment. Okay, one of the first things I'll probably need to do is to try and set up a tree farm, or just general farm. If I... Hmm. If Walden were more likely to spawn wild in just out in the wild, it would be easier to get a, a horn from them, so I can get the Drigme, who would then harvest stuff from the animals, if I could set up a, a farm for it, or a home for it, to be more specific. I'll need mossy, actually. Uh, mossy cobblestone is new to, needed to make their hinges, uh, which you just need cobble and the moss block, and, well, I already found a bunch of those. Okay. <laughs> Food. That was easy. There we go. Okay. Now. Let's tunnel our way through this. Okay. There, there, there. Out. Okay. And definitely, I've definitely had worse starts in Minecraft. There. Okay. Now we just repeat that on this side. One, two, three. Okay, though we will have to empty this one out as well. Hello, Cookie, how are you doing today? Key. There. Okay, short on that. I'll just dig out some around here. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping to dig into like a big cave system that isn't flooded. There. 
though this would have been a perfect place for one of the aquatic species. There. It was well, and it was well. Uh, yeah, could have definitely done better. I was planning to stream on the server for this server for this mod pack, but something went wrong with it, and it got rolled back. Yeah, it rolled back a bunch of stuff that I built, so yeah, not exactly in the mood to redo all of that. So instead, we're just doing a bit of single player with the mod pack, we, which we may continue on with some other time. We'll have to see. Yep. Oh yeah, D do you ever ask them if you were allowed to change your uh, origin on the server? Uh, yep. That was the yeah. Yeah, there is a way to change it. Shaskor has potions for that. So, should, why is that going in there? Good question. Also, it's, it's pushing me into the walls, which is setting off the cat's climbing ability. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. I don't remember mm -hmm. you said you wanted to change your origin on the server. So I guess we maybe found potentially. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I would need to get uh, Shaskor's help with that. Why is it trying to fill in this bit? It should not do that. Oh, I think I know what it, why it's doing that. It's it's not the it's. These are source blocks of water. Uh, let's see, does oh, yeah. Drakir also play MC? I, I no. don't think Drakir does. I don't. I have watched a lot of YouTubes play it. So I do know things, but I have not played it myself. So I know about it mostly from observation. Being dumb there. Yep. Okay, just need to remove all of this as well. And well, <laughs> there's the big cavern I wanted to dig into. Cave system I wanted to dig into. <laughs> okay. Uh, need a bit of light. Okay, deep enough already for glowing. Uh, for glow squids. Uh, do you see the name of the thing that spawned? Uh, no. Irena the Lazy. Well, they definitely could have couldn't have come up with a better name than it seems. Name than it, it seems. I need to go down to the bottom with this for a sec. Remove all of the source blocks that were here. Okay. Yeah. Somewhat better. Okay. <laughs> now I'm just stuck between a rock and a waterfall. Uh, let's see. Oop. Careful of the downstreams. Okay. Should be... There's some iron already. Yeah, it should be much easier to get our hands on some <laughs> valuable resources now. As long as I can dodge the skeletons. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Iron I can use for weapons and such. Zinc I can use for create stuff. Uh, no, no about equestrian stuff. So we'll need to look into that more before I really start trying it. Can't harvest or can't mine that yet. Okay. There, there. Okay. Uh, yeah, having that light up there will help. <laughs> will help me with figuring out 
where the exit is. Okay. Looks like it, yeah, it, it looks like it opens up even more over there. Yeah. As it is, when you can, definitely put down a portal stone down here. Okay. Is that it going would to narrow definitely down? be quicker to go up and down with a portal stone. Yeah. But for that, I would need to go kill Enderman and such. Or find them randomly, if you're lucky. True. But, as you say, lucky. Yeah. yeah. Or, if you want to be a real pirate, just steal from the villagers. <laughs> True. Okay. It's, I, I will say this. If you're a single player, fine. But on multiplayer on a server? Don't Less steal so. the quarterstones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just don't. For that, everyone is trying to use them, and uh, then all those portals will be useful for everyone. So, yeah. Just a, just a rude mood. Uh, rude mood? What? Are you a rude enough dude to save the president? Let's see who gets that old uh, reference. Uh... I don't think I heard that one actually. Yeah, I just, I changed it up a little bit. It, the the line is actually, "Are you a bad enough dude to save the president?" Which is from uh, one of one of the old fighting games. I'm blanking on its specific name. Uh, there's the iron. For some reason, I was trying to figure out if it was supposed to be a Captain Sauce joke. No. <laughs> Okay, let me grab this. Easier this way. Last me, I said uh, check if it comes as many new videos, and they've been gone for many months again. Yeah. So I did check the comments, and I, I, I did record was it uh, due to uh, eye infection, and now I know it's more is the more serious eye infections that if it doesn't take proper time to make it let it heal. He may never be able to play again. Yeah, kind of hard to make videos when you can't see. Yeah. So the few times we have seen him has been wonderful, but yes. at the same time, I rather want him to focus on getting the eye fixed. So he can return to do videos. Yeah. Okay, and the sights. With this, we can work on create. It's not that much yet. Okay, right there. Uh, if I was using an older version of this, uh, there would have been Botania in here as well, uh, which we also could have done, started on then, perhaps. Um, we are. We haven't looked around too much, so maybe I could add it. Uh, maybe, maybe I can copy the mod pack, put in some extra stuff. Then, but then I might just. Maybe I could just try and import this world into uh, a version of all the mods nine. Hmm. Not all the mods ten. Yes. That isn't out yet, to my knowledge. No, I. I, I think I saw a video about it. So it, it might be out, or about to be out? I can check it right now. Uh, Curse Forge, Browse... Uh, let's see... All the mods 9 to the sky. That was released four days ago. <laughs> Winter is here. Dragons rule the day, will you rule the dragons? Avalon Forge... No all, no, all the mods not, uh, 10. There is all the mods 9 of multiple versions of that, but no all the mods 10 yet. Oh, I'm presuming dear. they're waiting for... Yeah, I'm presuming they're going to wait a few versions oh, before that. It's one of those flutters. And some free emeralds. Okay. Ooh, iron. Oh, no. Hmm. 
I'm having a certain Skyrim meme popping up in my head now. Uh, the opening one? Or Thomas no. the Tank Engine? Uh, what? Yes. Of course there's one of those, but... No, it's more like, it's something more closer to the species you are. Uh, in game, that is. Yeah, the Khajiit. Yes. Khajiit have wares if you have the coin. I think it is because he has like wares if you have coin. Yeah, but... I think people would agree people have done that meme a lot whenever they see a cat person. Yep. Let's see, more of that steam-powered ore. Okay, let me actually turn this on so I know where to put these torches. I'd rather not be waited on. Uh, I, I'd not. I'd rather not have a welcoming committee waiting on the shores next time I come down here. Oh, uh, you mean like uh, when you turn around uh, by the tower? Yes, only with more <laughs> hostile intentions, likely. Okay, that was one of the squids, I think. Let's see. Uh, but it, as we say, it was a bit comical. Talking about sending apple to villagers, turn around. Yeah, and, they're uh, the motherfuckers. Round. Yeah, you just. But how many were there? Like, you seven, eight villagers? Uh, I think it was only five total. Five or six. Yeah, but it still Either came way. out of nowhere. Yeah. It was seemingly nowhere. I think I heard a yeah, witch. Apples. I think I heard a witch nearby. Or some other sounds. Okay. I see zombies. Hold on. Let's see. Five hearts. That does two hearts damage. We do have those claws. Let's see. Yep. Okay, only one heart of damage. Okay, so I guess it's just better than regular fists when you're yeah. unarmed. And I found an andesite deposit. Okay. And yeah, that music. It's one of those two skeletons has a backpack. Let's see. I think it's the one that's further away here. Oop. Let me put this up so I can see a bit better. Okay. Oop. Hoping it'll drop the backpack so I can take it myself. Man. Actually, there we go. Did it? No, it. Oh, it dropped some pants. I'll take that. Okay. Get more andesites. Nope. Now we can check if that if it really does chase this. If yeah, if being an elfic really does scare the creepers off. Yep, it does. Okay. Well, that's going to well prevent the biggest nuisance of just randomly being snuck up on by the fuckers. Yeah. Bloody heck. Okay. Uh, hmm. Don't Starting to, to have ideas to... Hmm. Wait. Do you see how that the uh, transmog mod? Uh... What? The one that lets you take on the shape of other mobs, or uh, the the one with the you got a very fancy wizard hat and all. Uh, yeah, and pirate sword. Oh, that uh, that should be in here, yeah, since it's also on the server. 
Uh, don't know how to get uh, the, the items for that, though. There we go, Luke. For this now, I'm just going to you. light the place up here. There. Okay. Oh, well, for thinking, if it has a quote-unquote feline skin to use, mm -hmm. it could basically make it uh, see it look like a cat without having to change your appearance on the server. I could look into that, but not at the moment. For now, I'm just going yeah. to gather up some more andesites. For now, it's just I think I hope for. So, but I feel like you would probably love uh, uh, to use the elfig uh, on the server as well. Uh, probably. Okay. For now, let's just keep looking for iron. And securing this place. And maybe I could start a base down here at some point. <clears throat> yeah, or an output. Hmm. You can still have a, a main base, which I would vote for the waterfall one, then have outposts. Hmm. Very late. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> At the very least, this place is a lot safer now. Oh, coal. The moment you stop gathering coal is the moment that you start needing it more and run out. Yep. Okay. Wish I could turn the wall climbing off because it is getting a little bit annoying that well <laughs> trying to just climb everything but then again that, that is very fitting for a cat yep and it will probably be put to good use when you really want it yeah <laughs> uh, wait wait like catching a fall and such oh okay fall, 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 yeah what did i get wall climbing from There. Yeah, that's where that thing spawned, probably. Okay. Okay, what are you up? What are you talking about now, Grandmaster Player? I would not be surprised if they are referring to the earlier days to probably still around uh, uh, dating mods. That you interact with a Minecraft mod and uh, when you talk to them and I, you get a talk screen with a anime girl yes, we, version of them. We could have guessed that, yeah. Okay. Another one of these. Okay. Okay, for a moment I thought there was a horse there, but no, it's a bison. Also, the reason I'm gathering these is because these can be used to produce electricity, which creates... Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Ah. When rotated generator coils will generate electricity as long as they are surrounded by magnets. Electricity generated by coils can be collected using the carbon brushes block. And to the increases the percentage of SU being turned into electricity increases. Okay, so you have stronger magnets. It's as the increase increases, the amount of SU used by the generator increases. Yeah, yeah. So you need to feed this thing power to, well, make it generate electricity. Generator coils do not generate rotation, only electricity. So, yeah. This is something to power with uh, stress units to power other stuff. Mm.
Okay. I see spider. Okay, and the way up. Okay. Hmm. Visitors rolling in behind us. Okay. Get some more of this because we will need plenty of it. There. Okay. Iron. Hmm. Four. And then yet more. Is there another flooded area behind here? Okay, just a small one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of iron, I'd say. <laughs> oh, you say me... so indeed. Yeah. That should give me an iron set of armor and at least one pickaxe. Wait, can you carry iron? Uh, I think it was said that the heavier armor is above iron. Uh, those could only be carried with an enchantment, I think. But yeah, we'll have to check. Then... <clears throat> what? Is there... Why am I annoyingly burpy today? Hey there. Mm -hmm. There. Okay. Support this. What is making that squeaking sound? We heard it now. Oh, it's a hummingbird. Uh, uh, mm. Wait, what's a hummingbird doing down here? A uh, humming. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what's doing down here? Uh. Okay, let's head back up. Smelt the iron. Yep, fifty-two. Yeah, that's more than more than enough. Okay. <laughs> Heal up a bit. Oh, I was what? Actually, we started watching a new series today. Oh. Well, the series is not new, but I started to watch the Puss in Boots series. Hey, that that one's fun. It starts off a bit oh, yeah. rough with the uh, with the texture qualities, I believe, but yeah, it is no, still fun. I noticed that with the texture quality. Do it's kind of weird. The characters are really well animated. Do do one feel that it is oddly enough a bit rough in a weird way? Or is Puss themselves? They cannot look. How to say this? Yeah, they can look flat compared to the other characters around them. They can look out of place in a weird way. Yeah, they haven't figured out the uh, <laughs> the fur texture yet. Yeah, do they did figure out the fur texture on the other characters except Puss in Boots. There, there. This is weird. Okay, I may as well smelt some of that. Three. Okay. Uh, let's put these away so we don't accidentally use them. Okay. There. Okay, I should make one of the. Uh, all right, I, I forgot to collect the saplings from these. I'm not surprised. Put these to use. 
there. Seriously? You idiots, get out. Or at least move away so I can expand this a bit. For uh, the cows. Wait. Cows, the pigs. Yep. Give them stairs. There we go. Oh, right, that worked. I was pondering on actual stairs. Okay. There. Oop. Not the upper one. So then they can try to climb out. Okay. Yes. Are <laughs> you trying to push me in? Uh, ungrateful, big-nosed assholes. Maybe this grumble that a plan didn't work about getting free food. There you go. Mm. Yep. <laughs> and the chicken coop into the pig pen. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm out of my. Yeah, I'm out of yeah, meat. Yep, there's this, but I'm not e eating that. So I think. Uh, I thought there was a way. Yeah, nope. Freezing. Paladin's furniture. With freezers. Okay. Hmm. I thought you could cook these or put them in a furnace to turn them into leather, but no. Uh, let's see. Freezer. Oh, concrete and redstone. Okay, or iron and redstone. I might do that because, well, having a good source of leather is very useful. Uh, or yeah. How much gravel do I have? Shorts. Dump everything for a moment. Yep, screw it. There. Okay. Iron and valuables. There and there. Okay. You're all going in here. Better to sort these early. Then to forget to sort them and having to sort all of everything out later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's cut this one down, get its saplings, grow some more trees. I think the average distance between saplings needs to only be like two blocks or something, or three. Or was it four? I, at the minimum, I believe their leaves will stick out by two blocks. So by that logic, it would be make sense to put them four blocks apart so they have the, the room. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Good amounts. Let's see. Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Uh, imposter. That's what I was thinking of. Another fermenter. It's something else. There, three, four, five. Okay. Good. Three, four, five. There. Okay. 
That should do for a bit of a tree farm for the moment. Yeah. Uh, are you just noticing something? Mm hmm? The villagers left your area. Uh, not that. Slabs. Uh, I need seven, I think, for... Yep, that. Okay. But... Oh, there's one of them, but... Uh... You know that they just run off somewhere, but apparently one yeah, of they're... them is back. They're back there oh. for some reason. They must think that there's something for... Well, it's, it makes sense why the fishermen are over there, technically speaking. But the broodmasters... It, oh, hello. You're volunteering? I'll take it as a yes. And even if you are not, tough luck. Get out. Stop breaking the farm bits, dumbass. You would expect a farmer to not do that. Yeah. Let's clear out the rim. There. Okay. I do... Hmm. You can get villagers to do this work for you. But for that, mob briefing needs to be on, which would allow endermen to pick up blocks and creepers to blow up, uh, well, blocks as well. So it is a bit of a double-edged sword. It's, it's uh, yeah, one or the other. You can't have either or, to my knowledge, yeah. at least. If we have hmm. other creatures that will probably help us with farm helps way more efficiently. Hmm. Let me try something. Because uh, they will try to harvest stuff and put it away nearby. So, if I build them a little farming station... Oh, one of them has already grown. Uh, let me see. How is that doing? Good. That is all done. Okay. Um, yeah, take that. Take that. Everything that can't be eaten is going into this thing. So, there and there. I should save some of that for any other creatures I want to learn around, along, uh, lure along with. Uh, let's see. Uh, Grandmaster player, I said ghost, not mods. Too much learning. Uh, that makes even more less sense then. <laughs> really? Okay, you can stay with the chickens then, dumbass. Hmm. I just had a bit of an idea of how to potentially separate... Yeah, actually, no, they'll be able to go through that as well. Yes, my idea was basically to have something where this, the baby you know, pigs can pass through, but the, the adults can't. Uh, maybe if I put down one of these, can they pass through then? A bit hard to test now. If I can get a moment of space. Yeah, they would not fit through that. The head's too big. Let's see if I can push one in. Oh, hello. They can fit through. What? So if they can get through of their own mobility or not, that is something we'll have to find out. As they keep pushing me into the walls. Okay. Though, otherwise I could... I could do this a lot simpler by just moving the small ones over into a different pen. Like, say, here. 
just moving them back and forth. That would actually make that would actually be a decent idea, I think. Oh dear. No visitors. <laughs> okay, it can it can keep the rotten meat. What are you? Okay. Um. Well, that's a lullaby. Did it spawn in here? Yes. Probably because there's villagers nearby and beds. And, well... <laughs> at least that's going to be free iron. Thank you. And a poppy. Or two poppies. Yeah, I don't know why they have the flowers at times. Oh, so you... It, it's a reference, actually. There. Get out of there. Uh, let's see. Is it... Oh, yeah, it's a reference to an anime I actually have. Who? Uh, castle in the sky is something. Hmm. Flying castle? Uh, it, from Studio Ghibli. Hmm. Um, I think I know which one you mean, but I'm blanking on its name as well now. Uh, there. Owl's Flying Castle, or something like that? Owl's mm. Flying Castle is not it. Well, the, the one thing about Onward is with a flying kingdom. Mm. And not a flying castle. There. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be a reference to the ancient robots walking around with a flower there. Okay. Uh, where? There. Fix your freaking mistake. Uh, okay, now there's. Now they're coming back here, it seems. Okay. I would just say pick up the beds, put them in tents, and carry your own bed with you for a bit. That way you will get rid of them from your base. Here. Okay. I can't really tell if they're actively passing through or not. It looks like they're trying to move through. Okay, they, they can slip through. Um... Okay. Okay. So yeah, technically this could work as a way for them to automatically separate themselves. But I don't think it's really going to work that well, since they... They try to stay with the parents or something. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, may as well give them an extra large pen then. No escape. Okay. More food to cook. Okay. Now, let's see if we can actually wear iron armor. Yes, we can. Okay. Lovely. So, there. There. And there. Okay. That'll at least ensure us some survivability. <clears throat> okay, and now that we have both and the site and zinc we can get started on making some create stuff so just break that into nuggets okay 
No. Okay. Uh, the first thing I want to work towards is to make, well, more efficient andesite alloy creation. For which we'll need to make a waterfall. Uh, not a waterfall, a water wheel, but... Uh, oh, let me no see. reasons to move to that uh, little cave then. Yeah, we can. We have that water right over here. We can make our own uh, waterfalls for water wheels, seeing as they only need to be covered on one side. Uh, let me see. First off, we'll need some of these. Twenty-four should do as a start. Uh, there. Just convert them right as we harvest them. Okay. <clears throat> Basically, like, it could be a good way to prank someone. They go to harvest the trees and realize, power on. You see, there's uh, planks and metal around, but it's supposed to be a tree. <laughs> okay. Just need the one sapling to replace the other one quick. There. Uh, one, two, three, five. There. Okay. I'll leave the rest to decay. There. Okay. Let's see then. Hmm. Okay, we'll need a mixer. So create a caps lock mixer. Okay, for that we need a whisk, cogwheel, and one andesite. And for that we need iron sheets, which we need the press. For which we need a full block of iron. So there. Then I believe. Uh, it's there. It's four. One of these, one of these, and a casing. Or not. Okay. Is it. Ah, right. There we go, one shaft. Uh, let's see, water wheels, I believe, were just a normal cog. No. A large cog. Hmm. Yep. Let's see, water wheel. Oh, shaft. Okay. There. Uh, Need a bit more wood. Okay, then we put that in there to make a large water wheel, which are just plain better. Okay. Let me grab a few more logs. And uh, let's see. We'll need to set it up. Uh, put in some cog wheels to strengthen it so that it uh, runs faster. Is, is that seagull all right? Oh, now it flies. It looked like it was frozen in the air for a moment. Okay. Uh, Welcome back, uh, pizza. pizza. Welcome back, pizza. Uh, yeah, we're <laughs> we're there. Yeah, we collected some stuff. And are now going to try and set up some create things. First off, being well, a, a, a more efficient way of making andesite alloy, which was basically the backbone of the entire mod pack. Oh, hello, cat. If I had fish, I could try to tame you. Mm. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
one two and i i think okay there and there okay yeah that fits okay only one side needs to be moving though so let's have that be this side Uh, there and there. Uh, oh, I it look nice. I'll do that later. Uh, let's see. Pizza. My classes have now gotten over. Have now gotten over. So I shall go back to being an Elden Ring stream addict. And these jackasses are going to sleep. So let's do that as well. Yep. Okay, it's too early for sleep, apparently. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I still vote for moving the beds back to the tent. Like a massive bed instead of bunk beds. Yep, not a cat. And then just and... hide your own bed for a short moment till they just roll over there instead. I doubt that, since they keep collecting around there, so I very much doubt they're going to move that much further back. Okay. Yeah. So I don't have to run back every time. I'm just going to make an infinite water source here. Oh dear. Yeah. The cave looks more and more inviting now, just to avoid the damn villagers. Yeah, they'd probably try moving in there as well if they could. At least... At least they're <laughs> kept here now. Okay, there. Okay. And that's a good sign to go to sleep. Before I end up with a bunch of zombie villagers. Uh, let's see, pizza. Oh my god, yes, I love this base. I love, love, and really love small spaces. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, reverse of... Uh... Claustrophobia? Claustrophilia? No. No, 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 let's not use that term for that one. Uh, in, in That one he, he hints at something else. A claustrophilia is the opposite of a phobia. This is attraction. Yeah. Yes, but. Why but are you here? People usually use philia for more. Uh, I guess you say, people usually misuse philia. If you get what I mean. Okay. Okay, now we have a bit of power going on with this. But yeah, I was putting on the opposite of claustrophobia. Yeah, which... But for my reason I got on show was for my brain was telling me kleptomania for some reason. I thought, no, that's not it. No, that is definitely not it. Yeah. Okay. Now we just need to put in a bunch of smaller and bigger gears. Uh, let's see. I think these at standard run at 4 RPM, rounds per minute. So we need this doubles it to 8. Then this one will double that to 16, which means there needs to be one more... Huh, apparently so there then... is no official term for the opposite of claustrophobia. Okay. Again, yeah. that means that what you said is probably the, what you should not say. For every me, they will... Uh... Uh... Okay, there. Basically, not, there. not friendly for stream. Okay. Now, we need a cogwheel, not a cogwheel, a gearbox. Yeah, I may as well just plant one of these down here so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Okay, um, one, two, three, four. Uh, four woods, there, there, and there. One, two, three, four. Then one casing there. 
Okay, and then we can put this thing next to it. Now, there, and I believe... Yeah, an alloy makes it a pot, makes a depot. Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't know you could make... You could turn dirt into dirt path. Okay, new thing learned. Uh, let's see, mixer. We need so like five. Useful way to make dirt roads. There. Yeah, you can just as easily do it with a shovel, but I guess with this you could <laughs> make it directly so you can place it down. Okay. Um, mixer. Yeah. Two andesite alloy. Drink. Okay, there. Alloy. Whisk. Uh, one of these, and I forgot to make an extra cogwheel. There. Okay, not there, and there. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Actually, let me actually remove this one for a second. Turn it into a vertical one. There. Relocate these two over here. There. There. Uh, One more of these. Slap that up there. There. Okay, now we need... Oh, come on. There we go. One basin. And, yeah, that's... Now we can make <laughs> andesite aloe easier by just throwing in I said throwing in a bunch of these nuggets. Don't forget to set the filter. Now we just grab whatever andesite we have left. And, okay, they made another one. Okay. Well, I guess you tower has extra protection. There, a bit wasteful maybe, but it will. Uh, yeah, and the sides. Maybe you should move into the tent instead. No. <laughs> okay, one alloy and... Yep. Another depot. It goes there, and that gets automatically output. Okay. And that's your basic first <laughs> create setup. Okay. Oh, only drawback of this is that it'll stop making it once there is a, a few on here already. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it'll it'll only hold one of these at a time. Can't really set a filter on this to have it do multiple. But there is a way we can make that easier. Or somewhat easier. Or have it continue on, best said. Okay, there. Uh, let me see. What was the combination for that again? I think it was Iron Nuggets. No, that's Chain. Uh, let's see. Shoot. Okay. So two, two iron uh, sheets and one iron ingots. There, give me that. One, two, three, and that gives four shoots. Uh, need more logs. 
Okay, because then I can just put shoots underneath them. And under that... <clears throat> uh, actually, that wouldn't be needed with this one here, because it'll just turn it into how many you want anyways. Uh, two of that. Make a chest. Or better yet, a barrel, I think. Uh, I do have these still. There and there. It makes less noise. So, uh, okay, one shoot, and now it'll just keep making it because it'll get you know, it'll automatically be pulled into the barrel. There, easy access. Okay. Um, here. What can we make next then? Let me see. Mechanical saw? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Something in your background. Sounds like a biker. There. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, actually, just turn all of those into planks for now. Yeah, for now. One water wheel. Some of that. Saw. There. Okay, then we'll need... Uh, what are the mechanical bearings? Are these are, are these still what I remember them to be? Uh, so tell, yeah, attached to the block in front of them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, this, this ponder system with this is just really freaking useful just to see what things do instead of having to guess. Okay, night is falling again. Yeah. Okay, so what we can do then... Just clear out a bit of an area again. Wait, do you really need that to begin with since... Don't the uh, little bit pixies do it better? What? Uh, yeah, they uh, would, but we need gold to get those, and well, we have absolutely zero gold. Wait. What? Oh, you're thinking about the squirrels. No. The world. To... Let me. I know what you're talking. Oh, okay, no, no, okay. You, you need gold for the token yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, ta -ta -ta. yeah, to make it a charm, we need, well, the enchant enchanting apparatus, which on itself doesn't, re well, it already requires a diamond and such, and a bunch of gold. Okay, now I get ya. Okay. So what we can do now is to one, two, three, one, two, three. First off, we're going to sleep before we ha get a zombie apocalypse on our hands. There. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to move three of the trees aside a bit, and then put a rotating harvester in the middle of them. So, get underneath. And yeah, then we'll have an automatic tree farm going. It won't be the best, it won't be the fastest, but, well, it'll get us wood at a consistent rate. 
And that's what starting out with Create is all about. Just making simple machines that will just get resources for you. Wait, and then wait, you can wait. expand can into you... more complex. Simple machines, you say? Yeah, starting off with... Yeah, if I remember your... Sorcities? Monstrosities? <laughs> well, they worked. There. Uh, I just hope you don't need to start going to make all those giant machines again for... They were quite an ice so to see. Well, I have learned some more tricks since then. You mean so they are mm. not horrible to look at? Yeah, still horrible to look at, but just more <laughs> easy to make and compact. Yeah, so yeah, if they're compact, it means you can actually build a case around them or something. Mm hmm. Just need these. Replant. Well, let's replant all of them for now. Are you some idea, Captain? Hmm? Uh, you. Are you running low on meat? Uh, not yet. I still have four over here. Yeah, but I just realized we may have extra source of meat. I don't think the villagers count. But they wanted to be get free food, so shoot, shoot. <laughs> nice to be the one scaring them off for a for once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you should change your origin to be one of these cat people instead of the bird, like. You have magic to fix the wolf fall damage thing anyway. Yeah. And, well, if we fall from high enough, we still don't take fall damage. Okay. Yeah. Sure, you can only eat meat, mm -hmm. but... At least saves you from having a massive farm, and other people can cook food for you anyway. True. Okay. There. There, leave one intact. And there, just put that in the middle. Then we go get ourselves a water bucket. Uh, you're yeah, holding a bucket. Okay. Yeah, but not one with water. So, place that there. And that goes to spinning. Then we need to make a mechanical bearing. So. Yeah, create uh, mechanical bearing. Okay. Of course, after I put one of the slabs away. Okay. Get lost. I think that's going to be a common thing now, Frank. You're just chasing those things off. Okay. It is easy to do that than to, to uh, carefully kill them. And pray they don't blow up the ground. Yeah. Uh, oh no. I, though I could test if mob grieving is turned on or off by just getting uh, one to blow up. Uh, I will let you read the sh uh, chat, Captain. Yeah, let's see. Uh, <laughs> game, give us some pillagers. Uh, where are the zombies, creeper skeletons, endermen, wither skeletons, and the wither with the warden in the server right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. Back to the depths with you. Okay, so they can they can damage blocks, which means that villagers should be able to harvest as well. So that is good to know. Yeah, do they did they do too much damage with the blocks? True. Hmm. Maybe one of the mobs, it, it, mods. It I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah. It'd be nice if the mods do, so they don't do as massive damage. There, one mechanical bearing. Let's see. 
Always place when stopped. Only place when anchor destroyed. Okay, let's put it at that. Okay, now we need to make a contraption for which we need slime or something to make the glue with. So let's see, glue. Yeah, slime balls. Which oh, water and rock. Okay, that that's way easier of a way to make slime than you normally need. Okay, so there. Mm. Then one sheet and one nugget. Okay. Uh, did I? Yes. I didn't put them back into a bar. Okay. Uh, I'll need to make the slime, of course. Uh, there and there. Okay, maybe a bit of an annoying way to make them, but that could be automated as well. At least you till okay. you find some slimes to slay. There and there. Super glue. Okay, then what we need is let me see. What were they called again? Mm -hmm. yeah, linear chassis. Okay. Just two andesite and some logs. Yep. Did not mean to glue that up. There. There. Okay. Uh, still need one more thing. No. Uh, what were those things called again? Let's see. I recognize them when I see them here. There. Storage interface. Okay. Just a chat. Not a chassis. A casing and a chute. Of which we have both enough. Because we need two. There. And then we just need one of these. Okay. Hmm. The one thing with this is that we will have to replant the trees ourselves. Because we don't have any deployers yet. Which would, well, plant the trees in our stead. So, there. 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 Okay. Um, I think I'll need one more block for it to actually reach the trees. Hmm. Yeah, one more. There. Feeling a villager may get uh, killed from Likely. this. Okay. Now, before we put the saw on there, we need to actually test which way it's turning, the same way as the water wheel. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, we should be able to just slap this on. And it'll go along with it because it's facing this on this side of the thing. Or not. Okay. He got stuck. This saw got stuck. Uh, it's, not, it's not that it got stuck. It didn't get pulled along with it. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, they glued it there on yet. There. On the back, we put its storage. One of uh, they're all bolting. Uh, let me actually put it here. 
put that one on top. Okay. Then we take the super glue, connect that to that, and that. And that should all now turn as one. Oh, so they changed it a little bit. Yep. And there he goes. And it misses the trees. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah it's, it's always uh, some experimentation with these things. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Now just that just means I'll need to put it at, in the cardinal directions from uh, the middle of it. Okay. And yeah, when we get our hands on the ployers, we can use those to replant. Uh, yeah, to have it replant trees. Okay. At least until we go to, uh, get the Os Nouveau Three. stuff ready. Yeah. Okay. Well, I do suspect Os Nouveau stuff will be a bit slower, but... Easy to work with. Empty hands. Okay. That will cut those down once they're done. So for now, uh, there, there. You need to be careful of that blade. Yep, not there. Pushed around by it as well now. Are you just really wanting to face that way? Of course it faces the other way. Why would I try that? There. Okay. Yeah. Those will stop to connect. So that anything that well, this picks up will get put in. It uh, just needs a chute and a storage beneath it. Look like yeah. a creepy you tried to show you to realize you're a cat. Yeah. There. I just prefer the standard chests in general. How would you okay. like the barrels more? Yeah, the barrels I like more for storage, yeah. But, yeah, for between the normal chests and the uh, other variants, I prefer just the, the normal ones. Thank you. Swap that over. There and there. One barrel. One shoot. And that'll automatically harvest. Nope, I think it already harvested one of them. Or not. Um, there. Best to have that open in case I need to access the stuff. Okay. Okay. And yeah, I could set up something similar for the f <laughs> for the food with the mechanical harvesters or with the plants. These are my foods. Really? Three of them now? Oh, so you do plan to eat the villager and... Wait, okay, I know you, I, some iron in the diet is good, but that's a little bit much for you, ain't it? Okay. Let's get these idiots out of there. Yeah, I feel like you should make some fences. Oh, and I need to lock these idiots in. in. Oh, the fence is to keep them out. There. Okay. 
Or better yet, I just make them to keep these idiots in their own little space. Okay, yeah. you make a prison. Mm -hmm. Still some manual labor with this. Always good to have a bit of a backup with that. I do, do, do barrels work with those things on create? Yes. Uh, let's see. It looks like it maybe would look better if you had a barrel for... Um... Yeah, it looks kind of weird. Oh, uh, well. Nope. Okay, are you idiots just trying to dare yourselves with these now? Just enough planks. Okay. Get over here. Okay. Technically, I could just uh, make use of that, uh, of this mod to just keep them in an inventory or such. But then they'll just constantly be making noises out of the inventory. Oh. There. Yeah, that will be annoying. No, you don't. Actually, probably a good idea to put in a bit of an airlock with these. Airlock? Really? Yeah, just in case I accidentally leave one open for a moment. Uh, need more woods. Yeah, I need... Or was it? No, other way around. Yep, got myself confused there for a sec. And yet, like I said, slowly but surely... enough it... oh dear okay. oh dear now to try and find a way to get these out because these iron golems you can't pick up uh, I could try to separate them out just move all the pigs somewhere else. Hmm. Try not to accidentally hit the golems. Will they work yep. well as guardians? Actually, I'm surprised you have three of the golems. Okay, uh, which of them did they harvest? Closest one, okay. Just gotta replace that. It won't always alert us when it's done something like that. A bit mixed together at the moment. There. Yeah. 
Actually, yeah, this will work. <laughs> and just gotta punch a hole there. Climb out. And just make a new pen. Yep. You were saying? Gotta make it big enough for them to fit. And yeah, now they just all come running through that one hole. If they don't get in each other's way too much. Okay. Is that all of them? Oop. Needs a bigger hole. There. Okay. Two more fighting at the entrance. Another two fighting at the entrance. I, I feel like you could make a sort of mini game with this by trying to lure certain pigs into certain areas. Oh dear. Um. I would not be surprised if someone has done it or tried. I think that's all of them. Okay. Now get your sorry iron hides out of here. And of course they lose interest immediately. Hmm. In the meantime, you'll have to get to work on making this cramped space even more cramped. <laughs> Should be all of them that can breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's all the chickens. Okay, the rest we can just repurpose into bone meal. Leave some for potential future lures. Another iron. How many iron golems did these bastards ba you know, build? Okay. Yeah, time to make a fence around the pigs or what the area is supposed to be for the pig area. Oh, the mouse area. There. Okay. Yep. Really? Okay. Um, let's turn all of these into planks. How many sticks do I have here still? Just four. Okay. Okay. This should make more than enough fence for all of this. Uh, he's throwing something. I should, uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's related to the Puss in Boots series. No. Something I would not be surprised if you have done. How you ever build a bar and just put the bloody jail cell in the same bar? No. But I do remember what you are talking about. I, I need to finish watching that series at some point. Wait. Are you telling me you never finished it? Nope. 
Oh, this would be comical if I finished watching it before you. Okay. Actually, I should open this bit up. So they can get out. A new fan, a new ladder over here, or just reuse the old one. There. Okay. Get in there. Okay. Okay, going pretty good so far. Oh, Almost yeah. at three hours. Uh, let's see. I always keep forgetting which uh, which way is for which the the fence or the fence gates. There and there. Okay, now they should just stay out of here. Really? Okay, I'm going to call you Bacon, because you just really want it for some reason. And they just like pigs. Okay. Just to ensure that the place remains lit up decently, even when I'm away. Because I'd rather not just come back to a, a base filled with skeletons. Okay. I'm getting a bit more room, not an escape attempt. There. Yeah, I still feel like more and more that the, the cave. Uh... Yeah, it would be better. Mm. Now, in the cave, I would have to dig out all the space for all of this. Here, I just need to, well, ensure that the place doesn't get overrun or anything. Okay. Uh, cobblestone. Yeah, I'll take two of them with. There. Okay. One, two. Okay. Metals go there. Keep the buckets. Create stuff is going in here. Wood here. Plants. Extra eggs. Close that so nobody wanders in. Okay. Yep, oh. yep. But I got rid of all of the single bits of carrot in here. Okay. There. Holy, they just swarm out. Must be some really good carrots. All the way over here. Yep. For some reason, those two really want to be with bacon. Okay. Come on. We 
We both know you want out. Of course, I missed the first hit. <laughs> And you? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh wait, is it? Yeah, it's coming. I had an idea to. Yeah, of course, I accidentally hit the freaking golem. And okay, only one golem got angry. Uh, quickly, projectile harm. Five damage, actually. There we go. Oh, well. The place was getting a bit crowded anyways. Uh, it's... Hmm. Actually, something I just thought of. Uh -oh. If the small ones can fit underneath half slabs... Oh no. And they come running for uh, the, the carrots as well. And I could probably just lure the, <laughs> lure them back and forth through them. Uh, but... Maybe you put a, a fence gate as well? So that I don't run back? I'm thinking we could have them run through, then drop down a little bit. Mm. So they can jump back up. Or, wait, can they? Okay, first, let me lure them all back here. Wait, wait, move... hold on, I just realized. You're separating so you don't accidentally kill the younglings, correct? Yeah. Then how do you heck you move them back when they are grown up? Hmm. Yeah, good question with that. But for the moment, I'm just testing if I can get them separated. So, hmm. oh. Can they actually? Yep, they can get through that, but the adults can't. So, I just need to quickly seal this off before they run up too far. But yeah, that's one way I can I can use to separate them. Uh, and yeah, by putting a gap there, I hope they don't you know, they won't be able to go back unless they can move through that diagonally. There. Of course, I land in it myself. Okay, it's not all of them. I think slash hope. There. Okay, no, there's still two more. Yeah, yeah, look. Let me actually test if they can go back through. Yep. Okay, they can. Okay. That just means that I need to widen this. There. Go. Okay, now the baby pigs should be able to squeeze through if they don't get, well, blocked by the adults on the other side. And I can just climb out. Yep. Still two more here. There goes the last one, I think. Okay. Still one or two apparently here, but oh well. Hmm. 
Okay. Hmm. I could probably do something with pistons or something. So that they can... Yeah, if I put pistons on either side of this, then, yeah, I could... I could have that gap be lowered or raised so that they, uh, the piglets can't uh, go to the other side, or they can. Uh, basically, basically, piston up means that they can get across, piston down means that they can't. Hmm. Okay. All would be easier once he gets uh, the drug, drink miss and whirly sprigs. Yeah. But again, for that, I need a bunch of gold that I don't have. Okay. I probably should have, I probably should have bred them before killing them, but I will. Yep. That's a strange chicken. Uh, that's not a chicken. That's a lot of meat. How did they get in here? Uh, Over this. And <laughs> bacon has a buddy. Get out of there, you metalheads. Okay. Night time anyways. Okay. Uh, let's see. I saw an archwood tree nearby. We can make a run for that. Grab it and make the basic Ars Nouveau stuff. Okay, there's two different types there. There's a green one and there's a purple. Okay, yeah. so that's one of each. This guy was you. I just thought on a little island. Uh, I'm going to put these here for the moment. Damn. Actually, no, need to keep some of that in case I need to lure over sheep and such. Okay. Buckets. I need to make some torches. There. I already have a metal shield. Not a metal shield. What? Was it with the cats that can't use shields, or was that something else? Uh, I think regular cats cannot use shields. Or something else. We can test it out then. Yep, that's a furniture bench. Let's see. Shields. There. Okay. Okay, we can use this still. Uh, some torches. I think, did I have a bunch of these already or did I put them away? Hmm. I thought I had more of them. Those. Okay. And the rest of our food. can speed up their growth with more foods. Yep. Yeah, that was a bit of a waste. Oh well. We'll get more of it later. I don't think I'll be able to split these off from the adults and such. 
So I guess with yeah. them we'll have to be more hopeful that some of them survive when we harvest. Yeah. No, okay. Now I'm curious. How? Oh, it doesn't say health by number on the bison. Nope. It just says it in the hearts. And each heart is 2 HP, I believe. Ah, so uh, using the spellbook again to hunt bison may work then. Could. Yeah. For well, it's actually the distance. Let's see. Okay, now two and a half, so five damage. There we go. There. Yeah, may as well keep the rest in here that won't be done anyways. There. A bunch of eggs. Actually, what do the omelet... It... Yep. Oh, right, I forgot I still had that in there. Uh... Do the omelets count? The omelets don't count as vegetarian. It, it shouldn't. It. You should be able to eat that. Okay, yeah. Yes, we suddenly found a damn good use for all the damn eggs. Yeah. Other than just mass breeding chickens. Okay. Uh, let's see. This way. It isn't too much faster, but swimming like this is still a bit faster, I believe. Uh, in third person, or what do you... Yeah, uh, with, uh, between swimming like this and this. Alright, and I saw something that should not be down here. Yeah, Bison. I pre I'm guessing it fell down or with the water or something. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Okay. Well, means move meat, leather, and fur, and whatnot. There. Oh, so hello. much water falls. More gold. First, lighting the place up a bit. Okay, give me that. Oh, that one's going down. Down. The water pushes me against the walls, which starts the auto climbing. Okay, Lapis. Uh, there. There we go. Uh, um. What? Buffalo just went up the waterfall. <laughs> and hello to the yes. Hey and, Jess. What? Yeah. yeah. Uh, doing decent. I was planning on streaming on well the Hippity Hoppity server, but yeah, for some reason that got rolled back. I uh, stonelings. Uh if I remember correctly, we need to get to these quickly. Not quick enough to try uh, and grab yeah. our stuff. That rhymes. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing for a final man. That's been rather calm day so far. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Instead of the server, we're just doing a bit on single player with a new world made. Uh, let's see. Yep, there you are. Okay, let's go gather more of that gold. Then we can get a start on the Ars Nouveau stuff. Yep, there's more here. Actually, can I... I can harvest iron with the spell book at the moment, but can I harvest gold with it? Or I... Hmm. I don't remember if I need to upgrade it with Amplify for that or not. Okay, let's see. Making it tempting to get back into Minecraft someday. <laughs> uh, if you do, I can probably suggest a mod pack or at least some mods to help things uh, to help make things more interesting. Uh oh. Or at least, or at least uh, make things prettier to look at. Okay, I can harvest there. <laughs> Okay. Gotta be a bit careful. Since, well, there's a there's a sheer drop next to me. And it's when I read more steam powered ores. Okay, but oh yeah, it makes sense that you can harvest uh, iron level stuff with the spell book because you need to put you need to use an iron pickaxe to make it. Okay, one more. Okay, now let's see. I know a few myself, or at least hope they are still on my PC. I ain't deleted Minecraft yet, just not logged on in a long while. <laughs> let's see. Oop, more lapis. We could use that to make source gems, but it would be smarter to find an amethyst. Or rather, rather a geode and get amethyst from that, since that can regrow, whilst lapis is not something you can make, I believe. Hmm. And I think I might need to steal one of the lanterns from the cleric's uh, tower. Because that's oh. what's needed for the mage light spell, I believe. Ah... And yes, it is possible that that caused lag on the server because of just the sheer amount of them, but on a single player world, that should not be a problem. Uh, it can still do it, so you should still be not go wild. That was another stone link vanishing, I think. Yep. There was a bit more here. So, yeah. I definitely recommend to be careful with how much uh, mage light you use. Silver. Okay, more gold over there. Some redstone. Cockroaches. Of course, I end up on the gravel. Oh, I thought the cut bush uh, beat you. No. Okay. Give me some of that. How much gold? 13. A decent amount. Oh, 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 hello. I think you found someone's bunker. Count Elliot the head of potatoes? I guess we found Tatum's boss. Not too late on that. Spellbook does more damage quicker. As long as you have the mana. Okay. 
stick to the sword since I'd rather not get caught in surprise with something behind. Just a bit more. And there we go. First apotheosis boss defeated. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see what kind of gear they dropped. Maybe something better than yours. Okay, magic pants with protection three. Yep, going that that's going on immediately. A gem. I told you. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Uh, let's just say that this is a pretty rare book. The takeoff spell. <laughs> okay, let me store just a bunch of less useless stuff. Grab that first of all. Uh, what is in this Ooh, one? Who's armor? Source berries, we need those. Up, ah, backpack. So, all of that is going into the backpack and well you can instantly see just why these things are so freaking useful oh yeah because that's basically doubled take... my inventory yep now we can take all the loot i said all the loot yeah the... <laughs> these aren't looked these are just junk i left behind i just put back in there and there okay Grab that as well. Okay. And there's still room left in this thing. Two, to be exact. Okay. On one of these. Okay, those are, those are supposed to be a pretty rare find, actually. So that was... I can just double lock with everything. Okay. And, well, now that we have this book, even getting around is going to be a whole lot easier. Yep. Oh, hello, hello, Sensei. sensei. Uh, going to log on the server and give you the refined storage and stuff you may have lost. Uh, yeah, I, I, I lo the most thing I lost was a bunch of ghost weave that I was using for, well, for the arena at the bottom floor. Uh, also, that backpack of mine with the... Oh, hello. The, the backpack with the experience tank and such. But, yeah, with this spell, we just... Not... Yeah, we get a light for flight. Even though it didn't seem to trigger there for a second. Okay. Okay, we can also just repeatedly use it to jump up. Zoom. <laughs> yeah, an extremely oh, useful find. <laughs> yeah, that's because uh, I have not, I have no idea where it rolled back. Yeah, maybe uh, a glitch or something caused it to not save. Oh, no, not mana. Because it didn't up. Yeah, uh, I didn't up it uh, in a different world. When it didn't up it, when. Or it didn't open, do you mean, or something? Also, those have been harvested. Uh, there. Actually, there. 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 I could, I could just grab saplings from this. There. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, backpack. Just dump everything in for a second to have it all sorted like that. Okay. Redstone, lapis, emeralds, uh, iron, or all the metals. Source berries. I'm going to plant those right now. There. Uh... Take those, take those, and just go to sleep. Veronica the Questionable. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
Um. <clears throat> okay. Well, leaving that questionable name aside, let's have ourselves some breakfast. I honestly don't care too much about egg myself, but maybe that could be because I generally find it more bland or something. Uh, let me Again, see. take about a spoon of sriracha, mix it in with two eggs, and make shrimp egg of it. Then you add an omelette or shrimp egg that doesn't taste bland. Uh, it's, I, I found a... Uh, I have... Have I spoken about this before with that Cooking Haru, uh, Haru uh, channel? Uh, where I found that uh, trick for poached egg? Yeah, no, you spoke about the channel once, but I don't think you recall you talk about the poached egg. Okay, basically the way that uh, he does it is he just takes a little bowl... Uh, Fills it about halfway with water, adds a tablespoon of vinegar, then a bit of salt, and just cracks the egg into it. Pokes some holes into the yolk with like a chopstick or something. Uh, covers you know, covers it with that uh, plastic foil that you can use to keep stuff uh, fresh or at least sealed off. Pokes some holes into that. And then you just put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so. And, yeah, <laughs> once it's done, you basically have a, a quickly made uh, poached egg that you can just scoop out with uh, a spoon. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you the video uh, if I can find it again uh, later. For now... I just... It sounds a little bit, a bit like a little bit of convoluted way to make a poached egg. Then again, I I only like it when it's a scrambled on omelette. Since those are easy, very easy to make. Just okay. yeah, just need a, a, a pan, really. So now that we have some redstone, we grab some of these. <clears throat> Uh, a bit of cobblestone. Uh, no new wood here. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Probably best if I just try this with two at the moment. Now, what was the recipe for... Uh, yeah, I really do need some extra... Mm -hmm. There. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make those pistons now to see if that little trick I thought up could actually work. There. Okay, the eggs on, the, on their own don't really give too much uh, set, saturation, I believe it's called, with the outline over the the food bar, which is what is used up first when healing, I believe. Uh, let's see. Screw it. All of them. One, two, three, four. Uh, not enough cobble for this. Do I have extra? Hmm. Well, this is a rarity, being short on cobblestone, of all freaking things. There, there, Captain. There, there. Hmm. Let's just dig up some around here. Oh, right, I forgot about the underwater lake. And that might have just ruined the... Yeah, that might have just ruined the elevator a bit. Yeah, oh because boy. now it's just all the way down like that. Oh, well. <clears throat> uh, let's grab some more. Okay, 
I'll deal with that some other time. Forgot that again. Okay. Just going to take out some from the ceiling. You know, I wonder, how high can you climb? Uh, there is a build limit, but I don't think there is a really much of a height limit as to how far you can travel. Uh, I mean, like, by climbing with your ability of a cat. Uh, uh, yeah, that was more because I just lost contact there, so I think just any height. Okay. Huh. So you technically don't need stairs. Yep. Or ladders, uh, but still they're they're faster to travel with. Yeah, Sta yeah, I made ladders. Okay. At least it does mean that if you don't have uh, ladders, you're not stuck in a hole. Yeah. Get all of that back. Okay, uh, some, yep, yeah, some rotten flesh. There. There. Okay. Then we just put that with the pistons. Okay. Uh, sticks. Give it a bit of cobble to make levers. Okay, and we have all we need to do this here. Okay. <clears throat> uh oh. At first, I probably should try to get them all out again, or... Wait, wait, are you Actually, these are all fully a... grown. Are you going to make a pig crusher? Uh, never mind. Not a pig crusher, but something to help separate them, or separate the adults from the, uh, well, the piglets. Okay. There. Actually, no, that will need to go one deeper. One and two. Uh, just for decoration, I'll put those above. Okay, now if I remember redstone correctly. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay. Then what I need to do is put it over here. Or, okay. Do you need to make it connected to to the damn thing? Okay, but if it wait, okay, it does not carry the charge over to the other one. Hmm. Okay, I remember redstone working, you know, or these at least working when those were just next to it. Okay. That makes this more annoying than it needs to be. Maybe hmm. that's the one thing they changed. I feel like I heard they changed something to make it easier, but also to uh, be less uh, heavy in performance. Now this doesn't make it easier. This makes it more annoying. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, how do we do it then? Maybe it's a redstone on the thing? 
Yeah, that's not possible. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, th this just makes it more complicated for how this needs to be done then. So then I need to dig out a wider area. Go around. Fill up the dead space so no zombie uh, can spawn there. And now this yeah, activates both of those. Which would allow passage back through. Okay, now we need to get this redstone upwards. I do believe I know of a trick that would allow that. I uh, need to put it one more to the sides. Also, just to be absolutely sure. Okay, nope. No room to stand. And oh, we have about 30 minutes remaining, I see now. Okay. I believe it is possible for redstone to go sort of diagonal like this. Okay, not. Actually, let's do that again, see. There we go. Okay, so it can sort... Wait. Okay, it can travel downwards like that. Okay. Um... Can it do that one more? No. Okay. I know there was some sort of trick with moving it diagonally that could work. But I'm not remembering it correctly then. Let's see. That there. Then that there. And there. That oh, moves them. Okay. I can cover this up. And now it just needs to be repeated on the other side. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, I, I, I can barely wait for the damn uh, dreamies and that starts to join. And that's the timer. Like, I did set the timer slower or uh, shorter today because, well, the weekly dinner at the aunt and uncle's. So let's finish this okay. up still. There. Uh, that does sound like a good idea. Uh, one too low. Uh, nope, not too low. Really? Do I have enough to breathe them now? Or dog the marbles winner? What? There. What the heck does a marbles winner mean? Uh, like the old game of marbles, uh, where you eventually you'd likely bet, quote unquote, all the marbles. Uh, oh. Down. Wait, did I? Did I dig it down too low on this side? Oh no, it's on these. I forgot to fill these back in. There. Okay. There we go. Okay. Again, just one of these for the ease of things. Okay. This probably could be done easier with more... <clears throat> with uh, more specific redstone stuff. 
like uh, repeaters and such because those can be just aimed at things and they will just uh, work but I don't want to make those at the moment so I can do that I can just do that another time there Okay, now to get it upwards. <clears throat> there. Yep. Give me a sec. Okay, parents are heading off early. Okay, there. Then there. And there. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Do that? Good. Okay, I must have accidentally broken it there. Okay. Now I just gotta need, you know, gotta put these in place. And now if I want to, I can just have the, uh, yeah, I can just have the piglets separate from the rest and just bring them back to the re uh, to the main pen. But for now, I should get these to breeding. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Get out of there, you idiots. You're supposed to be smarter than that. And I, Wait, I think he's... one of the iron golems just got themselves killed on this. Oh, so he has a different clover on us. Uh, Karen is scared. Really? That's yeah. yes, because he's a cleric. He's the he's the one from the top of the tower earlier. All right. But still, Karen is scary. Really? <laughs> okay. Last meal for today. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking I should probably either shorten the weekend streams by like half an hour if because of yeah, in case of dinner or I should just start half an hour earlier so from you know from a uh, 2 uh, 2 p.m. to 1 30 p.m. or maybe just start at Good 1 work. Uh, p.m. <clears throat> Good work. We'll have to see for now. Uh, yeah, we know that for some reason just display capture does not like Minecraft. And yeah, if need be, we can continue in this world. We can set some goals like uh, <clears throat> get to a certain point and create or mix uh, Ars Nouveau and create together for certain things or something. But for now, let's go look for someone to raid before we call it a stream. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Pizza is online playing Elden Ring, of course. We have Alex the Hyena, who is playing Dragon Ball the Breakers. Haven't seen them in a bit, I think. I'm Nice is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Dogged Douglas McDog is playing Resident Evil. Randomizer Marathon. Okay, I think last time they were streaming the original version. So likely again. Uh, Isai Razir is playing Dark Souls 2. Simply Steph May is playing Moonstone Island. Profound Badness with Sino Saga, or Sino Saga, episode one. Uh, Their Willet Zur Mugs. Are they playing a German version of it or something? Uh, New Gundam Gaming is building Gunpla, apparently. And the last few we have Adrim playing Final Fantasy XIV, and Horatius the Dwarf with the Psychology Open House. And Puffle Cakey is just chatting. Any of those sound of interest, or shall I take a pick? I'll let you take a pick, since you do one on a, on a deadline here. Yeah, not a tight one in this case, anyway. Um, let me double check. Yep, yeah, muted. <clears throat> Let's go say hi to Steph May. Been a while since we've seen them, I think. Uh, there, name. Got the copy the name. Okay, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. 
Uh, <clears throat> let's check your strap. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Uh, thank you, Tatum. I see Noon has been lurking. Grandmaster Player, thank you as well. Uh, yeah, pizza, of course. Thank you for watching and the raid. And thank you as always, Dr. here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Yeah. Uh, I see a few new names uh, who came along with the raids. Uh, I, no, uh, no offense meant, but I will be checking your names against a list of known bots, because those tend to, well, tag along with raids as well, as annoying as that is. And, yeah, I'd rather not have to, I'd rather not have chat be swarmed with dozens of bots. So, yeah, sorry if you are not a bot. If you are, then you don't have the mental capacity to be offended anyways. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Tomorrow, maybe multiplayer if the rest of the... If, if everyone else is available uh, for Borderlands. Otherwise, maybe Crosscode again, finally. Maybe uh, Watch Dogs. We'll have to see. And yeah, on Tuesday we continue and likely finish Marco the Ninja. <clears throat> oh dear. And yeah, if we finish it quickly enough, we can start right away on SteamWorld Dig 2. But we'll have to see that for then. So for now... Uh, I still can't get rid of this... I clicked on you know, Pizza's name earlier on the OBS chat, and now it won't let it remove me. You know, re remove it. Uh, let me see if I widen it. Uh, yeah, that, not that reveals the click away button. Okay. Uh, I should not make that too thin, because then it just looks weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me actually put the ray... Actually, no, I put it on the... the on, <laughs> I put it on the browser so I can actually move along with the raid instead of just sending people off. Okay, let's just get that start. Good, come, come on. There we go. Stupid pop-ups getting in the way. And, yeah. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and have a lovely Sunday. And watch out for under seals. And the ones we have to deal with as well. And, <laughs> and just Iron Golems being stupid. Oh, dear. <laughs>